Hey everyone, real quick, I wanna thank sponsor today's video being Javi, a coffee concentrate. So I started using Javi because it's quick, convenient, it's incredibly easy to make. You just start with a teaspoon or two in your either hot and or cold liquid, and you are ready to rock with a good tasting cup of coffee or whatever other coffee drink you'd like. And I gotta say, It's good. So Javi's actually sugar-free, dairy-free, plant-powered, and non-GMO. It's also ethically sourced. And I got the decaf, but it's also available in the original, also French vanilla, caramel, mocha. So if you like quality coffee and coffee makes you feel good, go to buy.javicoffee.com forward slash Joel, or click the link down in the description below, and you can save 25%, yes, 25% off your order. So remember to use that code Joel. So save time, money, and still love your coffee. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, what is cracking? We about to do a challenge. Yes, yes, yes. Today, guys, we are in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, heading to a place called Sicky's Garage. Yes, Sicky's. S-I-C-K-I-E-S, -I, -E I believe. Sicky's. To do their burger challenge. So this is a very large burger challenge. Um, it is right off the menu. Uh, essentially, it is what is basically four of their burgers because they have like patty melts as buns kind of thing. So it's like patty melts plus burgers and burgers. Then served with what they call a giant, he has a giant, giant, giant pile of french fries. It is a spicy burger. It is covered in their house-made um, kind of sriracha slash variant. There is pulled pork on here. There is fried cheese. I think there's boneless chicken wings. Um, there's a lot of different items on here. Jalapenos, that's for sure. So a big spicy burger challenge. Um, you do have one hour to complete the challenge. If you do get it for free, um, if you fail, I believe the challenge is about 40-ish dollars. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Pretty cool challenge. Um, I don't know too much else about it besides basically everything I said. So let's go check it out. Sounds fun. Let's go eat some food. All right, everyone, so here with the challenge. So definitely a big sizable burger. Apparently it's about four of their burgers with the different patty melts. And then uh, we got other eggs and the jalapenos and boneless wings and bacon and cheese and everything plus this mountain of fries that is definitely for sure all right but we do have 60 minutes to complete it um the lady's only seen one winner in the last like year and a half or so so um time to start whenever we get rocking so i'm ready restaurant's ready so how about we get started guys we'll say the count of how about five four three two one, let us eat. Thank you. Eggs, barbecue sauce. Jalapeno, sriracha. Tastes good. Pulled pork. Something spicy. Well, jalapenos, but. Can I have a ketchup pile? It is very tasty though. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here taking on the Victory Lap Burger Challenge. Yes, that is the name of the challenge, the Victory Lap. Um, so the Sicky's Garage is basically themed out of like a car garage and or kind of like a race car track, like a professional racing track kind of thing. Um, I guess the story behind it is the gentleman owned car garages and was involved in car racing. Um, he opened up a restaurant and it basically spread across the country. So here's one of the patty melts. It's like a whole burger on a burger. Not bad. So most of the locations are in kind of the 
Midwest or deep Midwest. Um, specifically, there's like North Dakota, South Dakota. There's one in Omaha. But then there is one in um, Florida. There's one in Las Vegas. So they've kind of spread out over the last couple of years. But the more density, the higher density of the locations is kind of in, again, like the Omaha, South Dakota, North Dakota area there. Um, so the challenge is not offered at all of the locations. Uh, for example, um, Las Vegas had it for like a month or two, a couple months, but then they discontinued it. I can't speak to the other locations, but it is uh, offered in Omaha, North and South Dakota. Second patty melt. I cut the sides of my mouth. Another challenge, so it's, this is burn, that's for sure. Lots of spicy and salty things. And crunchy. It seemed like it was ultimately up to the franchise-er, franchisee, if that makes sense, um, whether they offer the challenge or not, their location, um, but nonetheless. Um, so definitely while I was in the area, I wanted to give this a shot. Uh, it was a definitely a sizable challenge and there's so many fries in it. The fries are definitely gonna be the hard part. The burger was a bit spicier than I did anticipate with all the jalapenos. And then again, they had like their house made sriracha slash hot sauce. Um, there's also like, I believe it was a buffalo sauce on some of the chicken bites. Um, so like I said, lots of different spicy pieces. Um, all combined basically between burgers and or grilled cheese. They're melts, that's basically what that was. It's basically, we call them a patty melt, but it's basically a grilled cheese um, with a burger patty in it. And then of course I had like all the other buns and burgers and chicken and pulled pork and everything all in between. Um, bacon as well, lots of cheese. Um, but overall again, the flavors were pretty dang good. I think like in a uh, normal leisurely side, this would be very, very enjoyable. Um, of course, uh, this is a very large challenge. This is a very large burger. I would not recommend somebody attempting to eat a burger this big, but that being said, at, at least the locations um, that I contacted, North, South, and uh, North, South Dakota, and Omaha, um, you could just show up. It was available pretty much off the menu. Um, just if they're busy, obviously be prepared to wait a little bit for the challenge to come out. Um, again, we're in the quest for a free meal and a sweet t-shirt. Grilled cheese, smothered in sriracha. Pretty much that's all the information I think we have for you today. Um, besides that, I do have a question for you. I'm very curious. What do you guys think about hot sauce on burgers? Let me know whether you like hot sauce or no hot sauce. Give me a hashtag hot or a hashtag not down below and let's get the rest of the video. And just over about 6.45 I think, 6.40. We're at 5, 5.40. Basically a pile of fries, some bacon. Although I gotta say, I'm gonna try not to rip my mouth up with these. I already got cuts and they're pretty crispy. Very crispy. About eight and a half minutes in. I don't think these fries end, feel 
Endless. Good thing for ketchup. Endless fries. About 13 minutes in, oh my gosh. Mountain of fries, no joke. Camera's about to die, but I think I should be able to finish.
right, we are finished. Woo. About 20 minutes, 30 seconds or so. Thank you so much. Official time they clocked me at was just under 20 minutes. They stopped when I had it all the way up. All right, guys. Definitely a big, big, big pile of, of, of food, that's for sure. They called the victory lap. I mean, I don't know if it's a victory lap or more like, oh my gosh, why to eat that much lap, but nonetheless, we'll call it a walk of shame and victory. Really good burger, I really enjoyed the burgers. The fries, there is an absurd amount of fries, there's no doubt about that. Definitely the main part of the challenge, the difficult part of the challenge. But the burger patties taste really good. The uh, pork on is really good. Um, so for that, we do get a meal for free. And we get a t-shirt and our name on the wall of fame. So that everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Really cool spot, locations across the country, starting in North Dakota. Ugh. And this one in South Dakota. So that everyone, until next time, say happy, happy, hungry, happy eating. And that, have a lovely day.